you know, I'm liking starting to wear these jackets like this, these shirts. It's comfortable for me. But anyways, what's up, y'all? It's Matt, a.k.a. Georgia Gent. Uh, tonight, I'm coming to you guys with a review of my scent of the day, which was Babylon Fragrances, The One. Um, I, may, I may have already done a uh, first impressions of this fragrance, but tonight, I'm coming to, coming to you guys with my re final review of it. Not my last wear of it, but my review for y'all. Y'all stay tuned. So first things first, it has come to my attention that I look like a few people. I'll probably put them here and then maybe like here and then maybe like here and maybe here. So as you can tell, there's quite a few people that kind of resemble me or I resemble them. But let's get past that. It helps to imagine them reviewing faces. Awesome. Hit that like and subscribe. But uh, yeah, tonight... I have my Babylon the One. Um, I won this in a trade, uh, or not trade, excuse me. I won this in, in a giveaway through uh, TLTG Reviews. Ross over there at TLTG, um, he, he uh, put, put this up for, uh, for a giveaway, and I happened to win. I never win those things. I haven't won, I've not won one since. I have not won one before that. Um, but, yeah, dude, y'all, this, is, this has been good stuff. Um, I wore this today. I wore it a little heavy. I, I tend to do that. I have a spray. Hashtag whatever spray. Um, and this, I thought that I went anosmic, anos, anosmic to it. Anyways, I thought I couldn't smell it anymore. But turns out, I don't know what happened. But uh, about an hour or two into it, I'm kind of thinking I couldn't really smell it much anymore. I'm thinking that my nose just kind of stopped smelling it. Then I sat down for that video with Mr. Cheap Sense, and boom, in my face was just this strong. Um, and right then was when I kind of got, you know, really grasped, like, what I th thought of it. Um, it's basically you take Creed Aventus, you take uh, Blue de Chanel, and you put them together into one fragrance, minus, minus some notes from each one of them, obviously, and give them the projection of a Dior Sauvage. That's what I get from this. From, uh, maybe not from the, Ro maybe not from the uh, Roja Elysium that this is a clone of. But from this fragrance, that's what I get from that, um, which is awesome. Because I mean, that's how can you be mad about that? How can you be mad about having something that smells like Creed Aventus, having something that smells like uh, Blue de Chanel, and having something that smells like or that projects like Sauvage? You can't get mad about that. That, that that's why this is an awesome fragrance. And for its price, it's like seventy nine dollars. You can't beat that. Um, again, I did not buy this fragrance. I won it in a in a giveaway. Um, they didn't send it to me, um, and. I'm getting nothing for saying that. That's just honest to God how I feel about it. Um, but today I put it on, and like I said, for the first you know, hour it was, or so, it was, it was really strong. And then I thought I couldn't really smell it anymore, but it was still there big time. Um, and even now, I, if I put my hand, my, 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 my face in my shirt, I can still smell it. Um, let me show you all this. So I don't know if, if you guys have ever worn anything from this company, but let me show you guys how thick this stuff is on your skin. One spray. And that will stay like that. You can see that shine on there, right? Yeah, that will stay on there for a long time. Um, you know, I'm going to leave it there for a little while and just going to talk to you guys about, about it a little bit. But, so when you buy from these guys, Babylon Pegasus, you get it in this nice little box like this. It comes with this little thing you tie up here. And a really cool display. This is probably one of the coolest displays of Pegasus that I have. It just looks real cool. It's, it's, it's just in there like this. And this is one of the fragrances, this is one of my fragrances that I have that I, I was going to only wear it for special occasions. Turns out I'm only going to wear it for my episodes of Scent Talk. Why not, right? Have, instead of having a signature scent for every day, have a signature, signature scent for a certain event. This might be that one. Who knows? Um, this is the second time that I've worn it for a scent talk, so, hey. But, um, another thing. Uh, so, some of y'all saw my video of me making the, uh, mixing the pineapple, uh, pineapple Demeter with the Club Diminuit Intense Man. And I gave that off to Mr. Steve Sense. Um, I'm gonna ask for his feedback on that in a couple days to see how it went. But, I did just make another one of these. I made one that was slightly less Demeter. So I probably put in 70% uh, 
of this, which on another one was about sixty percent, and this one is seventy percent this and thirty percent pineapple. Just because uh, he sprayed it on camera and yeah, yeah, um, he sprayed it on camera and uh, first thing I get with of was straight up this pineapple, hundred percent was just just this. I didn't even smell this at all, um, but I'm. I'm gonna ask him how it was in the dry down, uh, so we can get, get, get a better idea for it. But what I wanna ask you guys is if I have any clones that I have in here that you'd like to see combined, let me know. Cause I'm kinda of looking at my shelf here, like what would be good to mix with each other? I could mix maybe the uh, Valentino with uh, Loam by YSL. Or I can mix the Aqua Di Gio uh, Perfumo with the Aqua D D D uh, D DGO Absolute and see how that comes out. Or I could do like uh, the La Nuit um, de Lome with uh, the Mankind Legacy. You know, just to, to see how it comes out, uh, to, to freshen up a little bit. But if you guys see anything in here that, that might be kind of cool to mix up, let me know and I'll, and I'll you know, t take them all into consideration. And why not, to see how it goes out. But, the best one, the best uh, one that I find, or that you guys say might be a good one, let me know um, down in the comments down below. Who knows? I might pick the best one and might raffle that one off. Not raffled off. I might, I, I might give it away to somebody. Um, I might just free of charge ship you guys one of these little, little decants of what you want mixed. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you guys had a great Sunday. I'll see, I'll see y'all soon.